BigLloyd.com. I was asked by a reader how to uh, determine how many bits a uh, digital camera RAW file has. So in this video, I'm going to show how to use RAW Digger and a few other and another tool to uh, check that out, as well as some other things. And most of the time, you don't need to be concerned this, with this. If you just set the camera to the right mode, you'll get it. But there are various other settings that can affect it, you know, uh, depending on which camera you have and so on. So let's just go through it. So uh, we're just looking at a, a, an image here I uh, happened to bring up. And I don't remember what it is offhand, but the first thing you can do is look at the upper left. You'll see Sony ILC-7, ILC-7RM4. That's a Sony A7R Mark mark four if i click this exif button you can get a whole bunch of useful information and uh, it's a little too much to go through and just figure things out so let's look at what you can look first of all some keywords i've got a few of them over here like camera if i put camera in the filter here and say filter you can see okay there's the camera no name and there's some other related stuff okay so if you're looking for that you can get grab that now what you really want to look for though is bits per sample Bits per sample means how many bits this analog sensor was converted to before anything else was done to save the file or whatever. So um, in this case, I'm a little disappointed. Um, I've only got 12 bits on the Sony a7R4. That might be because I was using electronic shutter, which I had to in this case. So 12 is kind of sucky, except for especially for a high dynamic range scene like this one. But what else do we have? We have compression, and compression, um, it's Sony ARW compressed, which is a lossy compression. The newer cameras have a loss less, which is better, although sometimes it's equivalent. And then you also have the raw, things like raw file type, uh, compressed raw, or, and Sony compressed raw. You can have more than one tag. Different cameras will have different tags, so if you clear that out and you're not sure what you're looking for, you might have to d dig through this a little bit. You can generally ignore things like samples per pixels. I can't even tell if that means anything. What you really want is this bits per sample thing to know what the ultimate quality of the image is. Now on top of that, if you, of course, if you're shooting as JPEG, that's always 8-bit and it's compressed on top of that. So bits per sample is just what you sampled that sensor at when the capture was made. It doesn't have anything to do with how it was saved. You could lose information later. So shoot lossless compressed or uh, yeah, you know, shoot losses compressed if the camera have it has it. So let's look at a different camera. And the cool thing about um, Raw Digger is that you can just drag another image into its window here, and poof, it will switch it. There's our image right there. And uh, this time, if we type uh, bits per sample uh, and filter it, we can see it's a 16-bit image. That's a Fujifilm GFX 102. Uh, 16 is fantastic. Now, if you do a focus stack, I'll drag another image in here. Fujifilm always shoots a focus stack in 14 bits, so you can see it's a 14-bit image. In both cases, they're lossless compressed, so you get exactly what the sensor cap captured, just 16 bits versus 14. Here's a Hasselblad image. Um, you can see 16 bits per sample. Um, so uh, that's great, again. And then on Sony, doesn't matter if it's uncompressed or, or, or not, but you can see, I'll drag this in. I've got 14 bits on the Sony 87R5. Drag another one in. 14 bits on a lossless compressed, and 14 bits on a lossy conventional, what Sony calls compressed. So they're all converted at 14 bits, but the lossy compressed potentially can have weird artifacts at very high contrast junctures. But you do get a slightly smaller file. You can see over here it's 73. 74 instead of 86 megabytes. Not worth it to me. I've had those artifacts, so I'm not going there. Um, anyway, so that's how you find out stuff in Raw Digger. If I reset this, it's handy. You can scroll through this business. Most of this is not going to do you any good. Uh, if, you want, if you're familiar, happy with the command line, um, you can use what's called EXIF tool. You'll have to install it. and In that case, you just drag the file over from the finder, drop it there, and it prints out the same information. In fact, I think Raw Digger uses EXIF tool. So if we look in here for bits per, uh, we want bits per sample, and we've got 16 bits there. So you can do it here at the command line just as well as you can do it in, in Raw Digger. Um, 
So just summarizing, uh, depending on the mode you're shooting your camera in, especially some of the sports cameras, if you have like a silent shutter or electronic shutter or high-speed shooting modes, these can actually drop the bits per sample uh, um, down from a higher level to a lower level. It might go as low as 12 bits. So if you're concerned about that, you can check it in this information. And Raw Digger is your best tool because it also gives you histograms and you want to learn how to use histograms, trust me. Uh, so uh, that's our lesson.